Shalom, beloved. It's a word. Let's talk about love. In our lives, sometimes we reach a down point where those that we are with, whether married to, in a relationship, or going through by ourselves, we hit a weakness because the love that should support us is not there. And in those moments, some of us go through a feeling of loss, a feeling of emptiness, depression. But I want you to remember when you were loved, when somebody loved you, okay? When, when you think about it, whether it was an old boyfriend, old girlfriend, a parent, an aunt, an uncle, a cousin, a neighbor, a stranger, that you knew for a time and then they were gone. When you think about when somebody loved you, it put you on a throne. It brought out your shine. It made you sparkle. And even if you're going through right now, that love, when you remember the fullness of it, gives you strength. It gives you power. You know, when we look at 1 Corinthians, it talks about, there are people, they may speak with the tongues of men and angels, but have not love. They are like a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And they may have prophetic power and understand all mysteries and all knowledge and have all faith. They can remove mountains, but they have not love. They are nothing. They're nothing. This is how powerful love really is. They're nothing. But when you think about somebody that loved you, I don't care how depressed you are. I don't care what you're going through. When you think about somebody that loved you, you'll get lifted. Your sparkle will kick in. You'll start shining. You'll raise up off of that chair or out of that bed and iron your clothes, wash your face, and go on out there and do what you got to do with strength, with power. Why? Because you know that that person saw you for the value and the truth of who you are and what's inside of you. When we're looking in the book of Job, and Job, he wants to talk to Yah. And he says in verse 6, and just to bring you in with me, we're in chapter 23, but I'm going to go to verse 6. Will he plead against me with his great power? No. But he will put strength in me. Where's that strength coming from? Love, my darling. Love. He sees the power, the beauty, the shine, the sparkle in you. Even when those around you don't. Even when those around you don't. He's not going to plead against you with his great power to crush you, to hurt you. There the righteous might dispute with him. So should I be delivered forever from my judge. Behold, I will go forward, but he is not there. And backwards, but I cannot perceive him. On the left hand where he doth work. But I cannot behold him. He hideth himself on the right hand that I cannot see him. Mm. But he knoweth the way that I take. And when he hath tried me, I shall come forth as pure gold. There are people that treat you like stones, like something worthless. But the one that loves you will put strength in you. When you think about love, it'll make you shine. It'll make you sparkle. It'll lift you up no matter how far down you are. And even when you're amongst stones, what do I mean? There are some people in our lives, they're stones. They, they cut and they tear and cause us to bleed, bring wounds on us. Because... You are gold amongst the stones, beloved. And when you're dealing with a stone, a stone won't see the value in you. It won't treat you with value, like pearl before swine. Some people pick up a 
cloudy stone and they look at it and throw it away or mistreat it as just any old stone. Never having the eye of love to see that the diamond in their hand is that cloudy stone, but love will chisel at it. Appreciation and gratitude will bring out the sparkle and the brilliance. The same way with gold. You can put it in the muck and the mire and hide it in the dirt. You can have all types of people trample it underfoot. But the eyes of love will pick it up, wash it off, and recognize it's pure gold. The value and the worth will never change. We're going to look at chapter, I mean, verse 6. Will he plead against me with his great power? No. But he will put strength in me. Mm. Love. Love. You've got people out here, I don't care how much money they got. I don't care what their position is. Some of them, they can prophesy. They can speak with men and angels, but they have no love. And what does it tell you? About love. Mm, 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 mm. At the end of the day, if they have not love, they are nothing. True love never ends. Beloved, those of you that are going through, those of you that are going down, those of you that have been down too long, he's not here to plead against you with his great power. Yah isn't here to crush you. He will put strength in you. And when he does, at the end of the matter, he's going to bring you forth as pure gold with all your shine and all your spark. So you be encouraged, those of you who feel mistreated, those of you who feel overlooked, those of you who don't feel appreciated, those of you who don't feel recognized, those of you that needed a kind word and got a harsh word, that needed any word and got no word. Here is a word that is true. You shall come forth as pure gold and he will not plead against you. He's putting strength in you. We just talking about love, beloved. We just talking about love. And at the end, you're going to come forth as pure gold because you are so that that shine, that sparkle, that value in you, you recognize. All you got to do is remember when you were loved. It is word, beloved. Shalom.